Hey guys, she who corrupts here. So I have a quick little mini update, real quick. Um, I wanted to show these. I just popped them out. So this one I've been waiting to pop out for a while because I had to go get more resin, but I finally finished them. I think it looks really cute. So the first layer, I put these little fish guys in there, and they're like kissing each other. They're kind of cute. So um, on the back of the first layer, I painted like the seaweed and stuff back there. I don't know if you guys can see that or. There we go. So I painted the seaweed on the back of it and stuff, and I added a little bit of glitter to it. So then, once that was dry, I went ahead and put um, a little bit of resin on the back of it to seal the paint up. So it came out really cute, and I really liked it. So just had a show, but I think they look really cool. So let me know what you think. Then I went on and did my little stars with the stickers that I got from Young Kinsim, which I love these stickers. So. Um, I actually put gray in the background, and then on the very back of it, I added black, and it's really pretty. It's real fine glitter, too. It's got Martha Stewart's glitter, and, um, I don't know. It came out really cool in here because it came out spotted-like, so it looks like, don't laugh at me, it looks like fishnet stockings, like ripped fishnet stockings or something, like how it's in there. I think it came out really cool looking because of how it floated down, but it didn't cover the sticker really at all. Maybe just a teeny tiny bit right there, but I love this one. And then I did the back black. I didn't have a whole lot of overpour on this one, so it came out really good, so I don't have to clean it up as much, but this one had a lot of overpour. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention or filled up too quick or something, so I'll have to clean it up. Um, then, for anybody who wants these, I'm making a whole bunch of peppermint ones. I have to clean the backs up because I have over overpoured, so... I'm going to file them down. I think I'm going to make them into rings because they look like they make really good rings. But if anyone wants them for, like, necklaces or pendant or something like that, let me know. And I still might I might use these and make cupcakes out of them, like make this the top part and then put a cupcake down and then do, like, a little bit of white icing around this part, like the edge, and then maybe put a little cherry or something on top. So if you think you'd like some, let me know. And I will make some for examples to show. These guys. I have a bunch more of these to make. Um, these are my Scooby-Doo charms. I have like the Shaggy and Scooby-Doo ones. And Scooby Snacks. And the Shagmobile. The mystery, mystery van or something. So This is actual Scooby-Doo's tag. is shaped just like this. And I had one of the stickers. So I put it in there. And I filled it up with gold glitter. Because his tag is gold. So I think it came out really awesome. This is for my mom. She loves Scooby-Doo. I'll have to, sh I have to go out and uh, shoot a video of the front of the house with all the Christmas lights. My mom has a giant, it's like an eight foot tall Scooby-Doo. I'll have to take a video of it. So I'm making these for her, but if anyone wants one, let me know. Um, they're a pretty good size. It could be part of a necklace or I could make it for a charm bracelet. So I'm going to do this one where he's licking his lips because I have to pour the other one yet. Um, the other one's going to be the Scooby Snacks. So... But I think they're really cool. So anyway, if anyone wants anything or custom order or any comments or anything like that, um, and let me know what you think of this one. So uh, comment down below. Thanks, guys.